Hey, it's Jay from Galaxy Galvance. How are we doing? Uh, I just wanted to do a little quick video today about drones. Uh, have you seen any of our old videos? You may notice that I did a tech review sort of play first hands on thing with the Microsoft 3. And we also have a Phantom FC40. I've just sold that. I've just sold my Phantom FC40 on eBay. I've got no need for it. It's too big. It's a great drone, but it's too big. And this is on its way to eBay land as well, Micro Drone 3. I got this for travel because it was small enough, but I couldn't get the quality of footage that I wanted, so I've opted for this guy. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to the DJI Mavic when it comes out, the Mavic Pro. But at the minute, I will be shooting lots of stuff on this part too. So we took this to Iceland. Um, you can see our trailer video for that. That was all shot on this little guy. He's brilliant, so small. Battery life's great, video quality is the best video quality I've had yet. It's not on par with anything that DJI do, but it's absolutely fantastic. So today, I also got a Sky Controller too, which extends the range of this, this little guy, up to 2 kilometers and 150, feet, 150 meters in the air. So I think today we'll go out and test this little, this little Sky Controller too and see how this little drone fares. So I think we'll go to the same place where we shot our video for this. We'll go to Shatler Row in Hamilton. And hopefully, hopefully, the weather will stay good and we'll get some okay footage. So, let's go for a wee fly. This road's an absolute riot now, I have no idea where we're going. This is the place where we tested the micro drone before and I got a grand total of that tree and this tree here, that's as far as it went <laughs> and maybe a wee bit over there so first things first, propellers which means I need to make sure these go on the right way and I can't remember how so I need to check my phone so give me a second So first test with this guy, Sky Controller 2 There's a lot of people about and it's getting quite dark the weather's slightly different from last time but we get stuck in the road because of the crappy motorway we generation or whatever they're calling it we couldn't find this place so it's a bit dark so I don't know how the footage is going to turn out but let's fire this guy up a bit nervous because I've, no, I've never used this before but I'm presuming it'll be fine have I just lit that hover there you see on the screen oh yeah so watch this oh, and down Look at how beautiful those gardens are. Amazing. Let's go for a wee wander.
I got a fight there. <laughs> it goes very far and very fast. I love it. I don't know. I want to push it further, but I don't want to lose it. My battery's at 87% and it's been flying for ages. Yeah, that doesn't seem right, does it? <laughs> Watch the speed of this, right? So I'm going to start recording. Right, it's... Okay, hold on. Start recording now, okay? And watch how quickly this thing goes. I'm spying on people down there. Holy hell, that's far. Let's bring it back. <laughs> Three dead people right now. Are they looking? Bit windy. Bit windy. Which is we get a Oh no. <laughs> So this is the one, this is the test that I should have really did at the start. The return to home test. So I'm going to send it really far. That's pretty far, I don't want it to go any further. It's about, how far away am I? I'm only 155 metres away but that's enough to test this. So it's far, you can see it, I'm going to hit the return to home button and I'm not going to touch it and I'm going to see if it lands where I am. I've hit it, it's turning, I can see it turning on the screen. Rise up like an eagle. Like an eagle, look at me getting all artistic. Then it'll fly over here and land. Hopefully. It's so coming. Where I am. Now, I'm not doing anything here. So, this is what happens if it loses control or if the Wi Fi cuts out, this will happen. So, I'm not touching it. I hope it doesn't crash into me. Right, so it should land there because that's where I was when I pressed the button. That's pretty. There's my bag. How close to my bag is that? That's pretty good. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> is that a table now that I've played the other settings? I think I better put it back to something that's a little less mad. <laughs> uh, positioning. So it's really easy to do. You're probably not be able to see this, but control and fly, settings, and then you've got this piloting. And uh, down here you've got your maximum inclination, maximum tilt speed, which is pretty sweet. Uh, what does a reset it all to just a normal thing? So yeah, vertical speed versus horizontal speed. Right, let's see how that exits now. It should be quite slow now. Oh, it's not really slow. It's just more stable. Stable. I'll tell you what, though, does go. There's rain on the lens. I need to clean. There's also a map where it'll show you on. The Whoa! I'll show you on the map. Where the drone is. So if I fly it, let's see I fly it uh, this way a little bit. It should update on the screen. There's there. So that's where we are and that's where the drone is. So it knows where home is because that's where I set the home marker over there. So that's where it will return to anytime you want it to. So yeah. Right. It's kind of a bit dark now. I think that's enough for today but I'm going to let Ainsley fly this next but my review of this is this is awesome. It's a lot bit bulky, but the distance and the range you get with it is a lot, lot more. It's bigly. It's a lot more bigly. bigly. It's my favourite word now. <laughs> so I'll give it a shot and then we'll return home. It's really dark, but the screen looks okay. I'd say that's a fairly successful wee day out. Or two hours out. <laughs> now when you go back through the madness, it is that bloody traffic system which I can go home. We could go to Bombay Palace and get curry. Or mustaffs. Hamilton has like the best curry houses in Scotland. That's so bizarre, but it does. Honestly, amazing. <laughs>